Have you ever found yourself in two places at the same time? In the quantum realm, it's not just a possibility, it's a reality. Welcome to the world that defies common sense, the world of quantum mechanics. Here, the laws of physics as we know them take a back seat and the seemingly impossible becomes the norm. One such quirk of the quantum world is the concept of superposition. Imagine a coin spinning in the air. While it's spinning, it's neither heads nor tails, but a blend of both. It's only when the coin lands and we look at it that it becomes one or the other. This, in essence, is quantum superposition. A quantum particle, like an electron or a photon, exists in a blend of all its possible states at once, just like the spinning coin. But when we observe it, it collapses into one definitive state. This leads us to the paradoxical nature of quantum mechanics. How can something be in two states at once? How does the act of observing change the state of a particle? These are the questions that have puzzled and intrigued scientists for over a century. Yet despite the mind-bending paradoxes, quantum superposition is not just a theoretical concept. It's been observed and tested in countless experiments from the famed double-slit experiment to the recent advancements in quantum computing. The quantum world is a place of infinite possibilities, where particles can be in multiple places at once, move forward and backward in time, and even influence each other instantaneously over vast distances. It's a world that challenges our understanding of reality and opens up a whole new realm of possibilities. But remember, quantum mechanics doesn't just apply to the tiny particles. You and I are made of these particles. So, in a way, the weirdness of the quantum world is the weirdness of our own world, just on a scale so small that we can't perceive it. In the world of quantum physics, the impossible becomes possible. Imagine an atom. Now imagine it's spinning. It's not just spinning one way, it's spinning in all ways at once. Welcome to the mind-bending world of quantum superposition, where particles such as atoms can exist in multiple states simultaneously. This is not a mere whimsical thought, it's a fundamental principle of quantum mechanics, and it's as real as the world we touch and see. But what exactly do we mean by states? In quantum mechanics, the state of a particle describes its properties. For instance, an electron in an atom can spin up or spin down, and these are two different states. But here's where things get peculiar. According to quantum superposition, an electron isn't just spinning up or down. Instead, it's in a superposition of both states, spinning both up and down at the same time. This might sound counterintuitive to our everyday experience, where an object can only be in one place at a time, doing one thing at a time. But in the quantum world, the rules are different. To illustrate this, imagine a spinning top. In the classical world, it can either spin clockwise or counterclockwise. But if that top were a quantum particle, it could spin both ways at the same time. In fact, it could spin in an infinite number of ways at once, each with its own probability. However, don't be mistaken. It's not that the particle is constantly changing states. Rather, it maintains this superposition until we measure it. Once we observe the particle, it chooses one state. This choice appears random, but it's influenced by the probabilities of the superposition. In essence, quantum superposition is a game of probabilities. It's a dance of possibilities, where particles exist in all their possible states at once, only choosing a definite state when observed. So, if you thought an atom was just a tiny speck of matter, think again. It's a hub of quantum activity, a spinning top of possibilities. The atom exists in a superposition of states, spinning in all directions at once. The quantum world is indeed a world full of surprises. Ever heard of Schrodinger's cat? It's the feline that's both alive and dead at the same time. Now, before you start scratching your head, let's delve a bit deeper into this perplexing thought experiment conceived by the Austrian physicist Erwin Schrödinger in the early 20th century. Here's the scenario. Imagine a cat sealed in a steel box along with a radioactive atom. This atom has a 50% chance of decaying and releasing a deadly poison within an hour. Now, According to classical physics, the cat has a 50% chance of being alive or dead after that hour. However, in the world of quantum mechanics, things are not so black and white. Quantum mechanics suggests that until we observe the cat, it exists in a superposition of states. In other words, it's both alive and dead at the same time. It sounds bizarre, doesn't it? 
But this is where the magic of quantum mechanics comes into play. The cat's fate is intrinsically tied to the quantum state of the atom. The atom, before being observed, is in a superposition. It can be both decayed and not decayed simultaneously. And since the cat's life depends on whether the atom has decayed or not, it too is in a superposition of being both alive and dead. Only when we open the box and observe the system does the superposition collapse into one of the possible definite states. Either the cat is alive or it's dead. This mind-boggling concept is at the heart of quantum mechanics. It's a realm where things can exist in multiple states at once, only settling into one state when observed. It's a world where reality is cloudy until observed, where the act of observation itself shapes the outcome. And that, my friends, is the quintessence of Schrodinger's cat. Until we open the box, the cat is both alive and dead. That's quantum superposition. It's a strange and fascinating world we live in, isn't it? But that's quantum mechanics for you, always keeping us on our toes. Ever feel like things change just because you're watching? In the quantum world, that's exactly what happens. Imagine a quantum particle existing in a superposition of states. This particle, much like Schrodinger's cat, is both here and there simultaneously. It's only when we decide to take a peek that this particle is forced to choose a position. It's as if by merely observing, we compel the particle to make up its mind, thus collapsing the superposition. This is not just a thought experiment. It's a fundamental principle of quantum mechanics, known as the observer's effect. The act of measuring or observing a quantum system inevitably alters its state. This is contrary to our everyday experiences where observing a soccer match or a rainbow doesn't change the game's outcome or the rainbow's colors. But in the quirky world of quantum mechanics, it's a different ball game altogether. So who or what is the observer in quantum mechanics? Well, it doesn't necessarily have to be a conscious being or a sophisticated measuring device. An observer can be any interaction that forces the quantum system to commit to a particular state. It could be a photon of light bouncing off an electron or a cosmic ray passing by, but here's where things get even more fascinating. The act of observation not only affects the present, but can also influence the past. In a delayed choice experiment, whether you choose to observe a quantum particle now can determine the state it was in at an earlier time. It's as if the particle anticipates your future actions and aligns its past accordingly. Mind-boggling, isn't it? And what does this mean for us in our macroscopic world? Well, the principles of quantum mechanics may seem far removed from our daily life, Yet they are integral to technologies we use every day, from lasers to MRI machines and potentially quantum computers of the future. Just by watching, you change the outcome. That's the power of observation in quantum mechanics. A particle goes through two slits at once. Sounds crazy, right? Welcome to the double slit experiment. In this captivating experiment, a particle, let's say a photon, is fired at a barrier with two slits. Now, logic would dictate that the photon would pass through one slit or the other, but quantum physics isn't about simple logic. Instead, it's about probabilities, and let's face it, a bit of weirdness. So what happens? Rather than acting like a tiny billiard ball and zipping through one slit, the photon behaves more like a wave, passing through both slits simultaneously. Yes, you heard it right. The photon, a particle, takes on the characteristics of a wave and traverses both slits at the same time. This wave-particle duality is a cornerstone of quantum physics. It's the idea that particles can exhibit characteristics of both particles and waves. And it's not just photons. Electrons, protons, even whole atoms can display this duality. Now, if we place a screen behind the slits, we see an interference pattern, much like the ripples created when two pebbles are thrown into a pond. This pattern is a clear indication of the photon's wave-like behavior as it interacts with itself to create areas of constructive and destructive interference. But here's where the double slit experiment takes an even more bizarre turn. If we try to observe which slit the photon goes through, the interference pattern disappears. Instead, we see two bands, as if the photon decided to act like a normal particle because we were watching. This strange behavior is a demonstration of quantum superposition, the idea that a particle can be in multiple states at once until observed. It's as if the act of observing forces the particle to choose a state. It's a concept that challenges our understanding of reality 
and underscores the mystery of the quantum world. One particle, two slits, countless possibilities. That's quantum superposition in action. Imagine a computer that can process a million tasks at once. That's the power of quantum computing. Quantum computing, a term you might have heard buzzing around, is a cutting-edge technology that's taking advantage of quantum mechanics, particularly the principle of quantum superposition. But what does it mean, and how does it tie into our discussion on quantum superposition? Remember, superposition is the ability of a quantum system to exist in multiple states at once. Just as Schrodinger's hypothetical cat can be both alive and dead, a quantum bit or qubit can be both a zero and one at the same time. This is quite a leap from classical computing, where bits must be either a zero or a one. Now imagine harnessing this quantum potentiality in a computer. Instead of handling tasks one at a time, a quantum computer could process vast amounts of data simultaneously. This is because each additional qubit doubles the potential computing power. With this, complex problems that would take classical computers thousands of years to solve could potentially be tackled in mere seconds by quantum computers. The implications of this technology are far-reaching. In the field of cryptography, quantum computers could crack codes and encryption algorithms that are currently unbreakable. In medicine, they could simulate and analyze complex biological systems, accelerating drug discovery. And in climate science, quantum computing could model intricate environmental systems to predict and mitigate the impacts of climate change. But it's important to note that we're still in the early days of quantum computing. While the potential is mind-boggling, there are monumental challenges to overcome. These include maintaining quantum coherence, error correction, and developing new programming languages to command these powerful machines. Quantum superposition is not just a theory, it's shaping our future. It's pushing the boundaries of what we thought was possible and inviting us to reconsider the limits of computation. Quantum computing is the tangible application of quantum superposition, a testament to the extraordinary potential of the quantum world. But there are still many mysteries to unravel. Quantum superposition is just the tip of the iceberg. As we delve deeper into the quantum world, we find ourselves amidst a sea of unanswered questions. It's a realm where our usual rules just don't apply, a realm that seems to exist on the edge of our imagination, and yet it's very real. One of the most intriguing questions in quantum mechanics is the nature of wave function collapse. When an observer measures a quantum system, the system appears to collapse from a state of superposition to a definite state. But what triggers this collapse? And why does it happen only when observed? Theories abound, but a definitive answer eludes us. Then there's the quandary of quantum entanglement. How can two particles become so intimately linked that a change in one instantaneously affects the other, no matter the distance between them? Einstein famously called it spooky action at a distance. The phenomenon defies our understanding of space and time, and yet it's been experimentally confirmed. And let's not forget the question of quantum gravity. General relativity describes gravity beautifully on a large scale, but it falls short when we try to apply it to the quantum scale. How can we reconcile the two? Quantum gravity is one of the greatest unsolved problems in physics, and its solution could revolutionize our understanding of the universe. In the face of these mysteries, research in quantum mechanics is more vibrant than ever. Scientists worldwide are striving to unlock the secrets of the quantum realm. Each new discovery, each tiny piece of the puzzle, brings us closer to a complete understanding. The potential for future discoveries is enormous and the implications are mind-boggling. The quantum world is a beautiful, bewildering place, full of paradoxes and surprises. It challenges our understanding, defies our intuition, and yet it's an integral part of the universe we inhabit. The journey into the quantum realm is far from over. So what does all this mean? What is quantum superposition really? We've journeyed through the strange and fascinating world of quantum mechanics, and now it's time to tie it all together. Quantum superposition is a fundamental principle of quantum mechanics that allows particles to exist in multiple states simultaneously. It's a concept that defies our everyday understanding of reality. An electron, for instance, can be both spinning clockwise and counterclockwise at the same time. It's only when we measure it, we find it in one state or the other. 
This isn't a limitation of our measurement tools, but a fundamental property of quantum particles. We've seen this principle in action in the double slit experiment, where particles displayed both particle and wave characteristics, depending on whether they were observed or not. It's a concept that's both baffling and fascinating, pushing the boundaries of what we thought we knew about the universe. We've also delved into the impact of quantum superposition on technology, especially quantum computing. By leveraging superposition, quantum computers have the potential to perform complex calculations at speeds unimaginable with classical computers. This could revolutionize fields ranging from cryptography to drug discovery, opening up new frontiers of knowledge and innovation. We've explored the paradox of Schrodinger's cat, a thought experiment that illustrates the oddities of quantum mechanics in a way we can somewhat relate to. It reminds us that the world of quantum is vastly different from our everyday experiences. However, quantum superposition isn't a solved puzzle. It's a concept that raises more questions than it answers, and that's what makes it so intriguing. It challenges our understanding of reality and requires us to think differently about the world around us. Quantum superposition is the essence of quantum mechanics, a world where particles can be in many places at once, spinning in all directions and changing just by being observed. It's a fascinating, mind-bending reality, and we're just beginning to scratch the surface.